White Tree Eagles. What's that then? It's game night. It don't have the same ring to it as game day, does it? Anyway, we're home today. We're off to the hive. It's Barnet v Exeter City. Now, I don't know about you, but as much as I love football, I hate midweek games. They just don't have the same feel to me like they do on a Saturday. On a Saturday, you know you're buzzing. It's all day. You go there for a three o'clock kickoff. Midweek, you go to work. You've got to come home, quick shower, and you've got to shoot off, try and beat the traffic. Exeter's not exactly five minutes down the road, so fair play to all of our fans that are coming today. Anyway, that's enough for chatting bollocks. Let's get into the football. No! So Exeter finished fifth last season, played 46, won 21, drew 8, lost 17, scored 75, conceded 56. That's a goal plus of 27. It ended on 77 points. That was enough to get them a playoff position. They got all the way to the final, but unfortunately lost to Blackpool. But Exeter are in really good form at the moment, and their last five games have been four wins and one draw. Barnett come into this good form as well. Just won their last two, so this is going to be a clash of Oh, it might not be a clash of the Titans, but you know, either way, neither team want to lose. I always hate saying this, but I'd be happy with a draw just to keep momentum going. Now, despite Exeter City losing three danger men last season in David Wheeler, who got 19 in 41, Ollie Watkins, who got 15 in 48, and Jack Stacey, who got seven assists in 48. Despite losing them three, Exeter City are not slowing down. Currently top of the league and on very good form. But Exeter's current danger men, if selected, could be Ruben Reed, who has six in six, and Liam McAllendon has three assists in six games. Now, the last time we played Exeter was only last season, ended in a 2 1 win to Exeter City, with John O'Kindy getting the only goal for Barnet. And the last time Barnet played Exeter City at home was only last season again. Funny that. John O'Kindy put in Barnet 1 0 up, but then it went to shit. Barnet lost 4 1. Last time we played Exeter at home and beat them was back in 2015. An own goal and a goal from Josh Clark was enough to give the bees all three points. So before I give you the team news and get into it a little bit more, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has liked, subscribed, watched, shared, everything. I've hit over 800 subscribers now and I can't thank you enough. Trust me, I just still can't believe people want to watch me chat shit. But thank you all the same. I'm not going to deny it. But like I keep saying, make sure you keep watching and sharing and liking. And You don't even need to like the person. Just tell them to watch this video. We already know that we are missing a few key players. Weston, Johnston, Brinley, Stevens are all out due to injury. Andre Blackman is suspended for another two games. We're not down to the bare bones yet. Dave Tarpey as well will miss the game. Now, last week I said I wanted half of Shaq's wages considering I gave him the motivation to start banging in the goals after I called him Sean back. It was a psychological thing, guys. You see, I worked with it, reverse psychology, and he now starts to score goals for fun. But it also seems like I'm giving the Barnet Media team a bit of a helping hand with their match preview, giving you a rundown of who that danger man could be, showing a photo of who they are, giving you a rundown of a little bit of history of how many goals they scored and assists and everything. I like to think that I give a helping hand. I'm fine with that. So I'll be taking half of your wages as well. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. So the team's in and it's the same formation. There's one change. Akpar Akpro comes in for Tarpey and John Akindi's on that bench. Are we going to see him after all this time? 30 minutes in. Camera Ice delivers a ball. Exit defender clears it for a corner. Almost an own goal. What? Oh! Scramble right on that goal line. Nell said it down. Keep his ball off a great save. 18 minutes in. Craig Ross pulls off the save. Keeping it nil nil. Go on, Harry. Go on. Go on. Oh! oh! 20 minutes in, shot by Jack Taylor, has gone for a corner for Barnett. Brilliant save there by the exit keeper. 25 minutes in, mistake by Santos, has let Ruben in. He's hit it over the bar though, still nil-nil. Very greasy surface, players find it hard to control the ball, slipping over everywhere. 38 minutes played, very dangerous attack by Exeter City, shot just went wide. That's half time, it's Barnett nil, Exeter City nil. Been playing really well in parts. Clough and Vilesi have been outstanding. Barnett edging it at the moment with regard possession. A couple more chances than Exeter. I would have taken the draw before four a ball was kicked but Exeter do look like they're there for the taking. We've got John Akindi to come off the bench if need be. Second half about to start, come on Barnett. Look in! Yes! Yes! 48 minutes in, literally as we've kicked off. Camera Ice put a lovely ball along the floor, Shaq's just knocked it home. I've got Shaq's career off to a start. 55 minutes in, a fucking beautiful run by Marabelletti. He must have taken about seven of that players. Gets fouled just outside the box. 65th minute, a shot's gone through Nelson's leg. Craig Ross pulled off a brilliant save, it's gone for a corner. That was nearly 1-1. 75th minute, and the last two minutes have all been Exeter City. They've had about four or five chances. We've been defending for our life. Exeter have finally woken up, and it looks like we're going to make a double sub. John Akindi and Fongo to come on. It's a corner to Barnett at the moment, but 
how we've not conceded, I don't know. 77 minutes played, sloppy ball gave away by Jack. They've had a shot, it's hit a post, knocked back out, and they've headed it home, 1-1. One, one. To be honest with you, it was coming. It really was coming. 10 minutes to go, it's all Exeter. Another brilliant save by Craig Wass to keep us in this now. It looks like there's only one win at the moment. 94th minute, free kick from Exeter. Cannot clear our lines, 2-1. Oh well, at least we went two games unbeaten. <laughs> So the game finished, Barnet 1, Exeter City 2. I really don't know what happened to us today. For 60 minutes, we looked comfortable. We looked controlled, and it looked like Exeter didn't really have anything going for them in this game. Couple of little pop chances. After the 60th minute, it seems like Exeter just woke up, and then they started attacking us, and we didn't know what to do. We are on the back foot. After we went 1-0 up, go 4-5-1, tighten up that midfield. I don't care if people say, no, it's too defensive, we're sitting back. Fair play to Exeter. You took your chances, and you won the game. That's why you're top of the league and that's why you're now unbeaten in six fair play to you don't know what else to say i am gutted and disappointed knowing that in that first half exeter was there for the taking but that's football i guess so that's all i've got for you at the moment guys don't forget to like subscribe leave any comments below follow me on twitter share this video and i'll see you later